the flat dumbbell, incline dumbbell, and decline dumbbell fly. The difference between the fly and the press is the fact that we are trying to isolate the movers to the pectoral muscles. They are the primary movers. So what you're going to do is when you do a fly, you will get into a posture, obviously in your flat incline or decline position, where it, you envision or imagine that you are reaching around or hugging somebody. Imagine a five gallon pail, your favorite girl or guy that you're reaching around and lock in such that the triceps are engaged, the elbow is in a flex position at approximately, I would say, 45 degrees, for lack of a better, without measuring, and the movement occurs through the pecs. The pectoral minor and pectoral major, depending on the angle, works more. You're also going to work the anterior head of the delt. The key here is to isolate the chest and the shoulders. Cleaning up into a safe position, dropping back, extending the arms, and then getting them prepared for the exercise by cocking the arms and locking the elbows into position, flex. You're going to, as if flying, drop down, be very careful, feeling the lengthening of the pectorals, and close. One, two, one. One, two, one. Finished. Back up. Setting your dumbbells down, and you're done. That's the flat dumbbell fly.